guys and gals. Yes, indeed, it is a good morning. We're heading the road again. Uh huh. Time to get on the road and make our way down to our pickup place. Yeah. But before we get there, we have to make another pit stop. We have to get some fuel. Yeah, we need some fuel and uh, I need a shower. Yes, indeed. I know there is a TA up there. And around that same area there somewhere down the road. And I might go in there and get a truck wash. I might not. We'll see. I might just fuel up and take a quick shower and get down to my pickup and then... Maybe uh, once I get my pickup, then on my way home somewhere, I I might just take a truck wash somewhere. So we'll see. I know it's supposed to be pretty nice weather here for the next week or so in Manitoba. So I know on my way home, I shouldn't be running into any rain or anything like that. So it would definitely be worth it to uh, get me a truck wash. So that would be nice. And hopefully by the time I get home, the Penner's yard is dried out too, so that way I don't get my truck messy again right away, right? But I really want to wash off this diesel off this truck and everything, you know? I might this time, I might even get a trailer wash, you know? Just because. Even some underneath the trailer there is covered in diesel, so it's not looking good. What can I do, you know? But anyways, uh, we'll make our way down to the Flying J and get some more fuel first and then we'll go from there, right? That's the plan anyway, so... So let's make it happen. Appreciate you guys tuning in this morning. Hope you stick around for the rest of the day and uh, enjoy the show. Alright guys, we are just about to leave North Carolina here and... Uh, this chicken coop is open up here. The scale is what we're referring to is open. Yeah, so I guess we're going to have to go over the scale. Even though I'm empty, I got almost no fuel. <laughs> and we're still going to have to go over here. We still haven't gotten to that Flying J there. Well, actually that Flying J is uh, right around this area. But I have decided to go to the Flying J after this because I looked it up and they actually got a truck wash there. And so I'm kind of thinking I'm going to go up there and I'm going to see how busy they are in the truck wash there. If they're not too busy in there, I'm going to go in there and I'm going to get me a tractor and trailer wash, which I've never actually done. I've never actually washed Penner trailer yet. But this one could definitely use it, so I might go ahead and do that. Get the whole kaboom washed and get the diesel off of there so that way it's better and doesn't smell like diesel anymore and all that fun stuff. So, But anyways, let's open our window a little bit in case this DOT wants to scream at us, right? Oh yeah. They stop here on red, okay. All right, well then let's keep our eyes on it and see what it's gonna do, what it's gonna do. I don't think they're gonna stop us. I mean, I'm empty, so. Yeah, looks like we've got the green light, so. All right, so far still green. All righty then, let's get out of here before they change their mind, right? Yeah. There we go. So, let's make our way to the Flying J and let's see what's going to happen. Let's see if we got lots of uh, lots of trucks in the, in the wash bay there or if there's none of them in there. So, I kind of hope there ain't going to be too many in there, even if there's a one or two in there, I'll still go in there. 
looking at my tractor trailer wash. I need to wash anyway, so. So yeah, we might go ahead and do that. Definitely have to get fuel, that's number one. Oh, that uh, orange uh, Peterbilt there, that looks nice. Having a cat on there. probably have another about 90 miles to go after we uh, get to that flying J yet to our pickup so which we should be able to get there probably around lunchtime maybe a little after lunch and, and I'd say we could pick up any time between 8 and 1600 so uh, 1800 I meant to say so that's six o'clock tonight but I want to try and get there earlier I would like to be down there by lunchtime at uh, the minimum, get loaded, and then that way I can get me a few hours in yet today. And if I can do that, then I can actually be home for Friday night. And if I can't do that, then I have to wait till Saturday, and that pretty much screws up my reset at home, right? So, well, it doesn't really screw it up, but then, you know, I would only drive a few hours on Saturday, and that, in essence, wouldn't allow me to do a reset on Saturday and go on Sunday, right? <clears throat> then I wouldn't be able to leave Sunday and I would have to wait till Monday which uh, would basically, I would lose a day, right? Just for a few hours of driving, so which I don't really want to do I kind of want to try and get home Friday and then just do a reset and go again you know, I need the miles, you know I need some big paychecks here so I can pay my debt but anyways, let's continue on with our journey and keep our fingers crossed that we can uh, get everything lined up the way we want, right? Well, here we go. Welcome to West Virginia. Speed limit may change. Oh, no, may vary. Virginia. May vary every uh, the next 12 miles. Yeah, I think they got like digital uh, speed limit signs up here. And yesterday when I came through here, they actually did change because it got really foggy up here for some odd reason and then uh, they, uh, they changed the speed limit so uh, that's interesting you know but hey I think that's a nice way you know if it's a foggy area like like the sign up there just said you know it could be fogs up here <clears throat> if that's the case then uh, why not reduce the speed limit so people travel a little slower and that way you can stop quicker right if you all of a sudden need to stop because maybe somebody lost control they couldn't see the road anymore or whatever right then that's a good thing but yeah here we go here we got a loves up here i never even did see the sign for the flying j or anything so i don't even know where it was <laughs> but it was supposed to be in this area just before the state line there and i never saw it they got a truck lane up here see this is what I was talking about the digital signs up there right but uh, yeah uh, this is a fairly hilly area up here so luckily we are empty so we don't have uh, anything hard to pull like we did yesterday oh man that was that was tough going through these mountains here yesterday it really was but anyways yeah, even these ones they have converted into digital signs up here. You see that? <laughs> Interesting, but yeah, that's a good good way to do it. But anyways, let's get over these heels and then uh, we'll see what else we will be able to show you today. All right, guys, look at this. We got our truck and trailer washed. Yeah, so I figured I'd give you guys a little bit of a spiel. Now she's looking nice and pretty again. Even the trailer, man, that looks nice now, eh? Yeah, I got the whole thing washed and got all the diesel washed off of here now. Most of it anyways. Got a good chunk of it off of here now, so that is awesome. At least they washed it pretty good, so. so yeah, look at that. That trailer looks really nice now. Yeah, the whole thing in the back here and everything was covered in diesel, so I wanted to... Uh, go ahead and get it washed off you know so anyways we're gonna go inside now and take us a shower so uh 
We'll see you guys a little bit down the road. Well, we finally got out of there, guys. Yeah. That did not take us very long on the truck wash bay there. I mean, I already showing you guys the truck a little bit, but uh, hey, I went inside and took me a much needed shower. Yeah, we sure did do that. I threw out my old gloves because they were all soaking wet with diesel fuel. So I threw them out, went inside, and got me a new pair of gloves. And then I decided, ah, eh, you know what? I've been working so hard here lately, and especially yesterday trying to fix that fuel line and all that. I figured, you know what? I deserve to go inside and have me a T-bone steak and eggs. So we did that. We had us a cup of coffee and the T-bone egg and steak. Yeah, that was awesome. Now we're good to go. Now we got, we can actually officially say we got a clean looking truck and trailer. Yeah, normally I can only say I got a clean looking truck because I only get the truck washed. But because of uh, my truck's doing, I got the whole trailer covered in diesel there yesterday, so I decided, you know what? Then it's on me to wash the trailer as well, and only it ran me 31 bucks anyway, so uh, I was actually surprised this Flying J up here was actually very cheap with fuel, I mean, uh, with truck washes, you know? They had a blue beacon in there. I've never seen a blue beacon at a Flying J before. And I just noticed there's another Flying J up here, I guess. Flying J also bought this truck stop up here as well, so it's only like two, three miles down the road, but oh well. Anyways, I was going to say, like, uh, I was very impressed with the uh, truck wash prices and everything, uh, you know, like other places like in Portage, they charged me like 72 bucks to get my truck wash. I mean, I did also have the Rain-X put on, a, uh, which I did not have done over here. And I had a motor wash, and I had brightener put on and stuff like that. All of that stuff adds up, you know, I guess, but most of that stuff is only, like, the engine wash is only $9. I think the rain -X was, like, $10, stuff like that. So, you know, but still, even if I took the rain -X off over there, that was 10 bucks. That would have been $62 over there to get my truck washed, and... Over here it cost me $74 for tractor and trailer and I did have my motor wash. So that's not too bad. Didn't have no brightener or rain -X put on, so whatever. At least we got a pretty decent wash, you know. I mean it's not probably not the greatest that I've ever had done, but also not the worst either, so we got a full tank of fuel now. We're good to go, ladies and gentlemen. I'm just looking at what they got going on over here. Some kind of rock digging or uh, rock digging or something there. I'm not sure what they're looking for in there. It almost looks like they're looking for gravel or cement or something in there. Anyways, we got a 76 miles to go to our pickup. We'll head over there now. We won't make no more pit stops. And then, uh, We'll pick up our load and hammer down towards home. We got to do at least maybe three and a half hours after we pick up our load in order to make it home for Friday, which I think should not be a problem, but we'll see. We'll see. Here we are getting very, very close to our place of pickup. Yes, indeed. And for those of you that have been watching me for a little bit, I was only here a few weeks ago. Yes, and I, indeed, I got here uh, at night and uh, spent the night here at the customer and then the next morning we got loaded. Yeah, that's correct. But today is different. Hopefully, they'll be able to load us right away and then uh, we'll get out of here. That would be nice. Get a few hours in before the day is over. That way we can make it home Friday. That would be awesome. But I guess we'll find out in a little bit here. We're only a mile and a quarter off, so we'll go down there and find out. 
And I just figured I'd show you a little bit on some of the places on where we gotta go into. And really narrow, narrow, narrow road and pretty much no shoulder whatsoever. And <laughs> Pretty much straight down over there, like as far as I can see, it's just straight down. Yeah, you gotta be careful up here, that's for sure. That's where I'm just driving really slow. Yeah, you right about here. Feet. Turn right on Industrial Park Road. You gotta go turn on to Industrial Park Road, can you imagine? <laughs> right here, this is supposed to be an industrial area. <laughs> But anyways, we'll go down to the customer. I ain't gonna show you the whole way, so we'll talk with you guys in a little bit later, I guess. We'll make our turn here and get into our customer here in a little bit, so. No hunting on the airport property. I guess there's an airport up here. Oh, right there it is, yeah. Huh, okay. Well, that would make sense, wouldn't it? Yeah, guys, we have left our customer a long time ago, a few hours ago already. Yes, indeed, actually at 1.15 we left there, and it's already 4.30. <laughs> I haven't recorded anything since then, but hey, that's all right. We only spent one hour there at the customer, and uh, hey, that is that is pretty good time, you know, usually anything less than an hour is usually very good time and one hour is about average, so hey, that was perfect, man, we rolled in there, one hour later we're rolling out of there, you know, I mean, that included me sweeping out the trailer and backing in and getting loaded, getting all my paperwork done, uh, they fax my paperwork right to the broker and everything, so my uh, border crossing has already been set up. Everything is good to go. So I'm happy, happy, happy. Now we're just putting the hammer down and going home. Matter of fact, I could actually pull over right now and still make it to Winnipeg by Friday. But, you know me, I like to get as many miles in as I can. Or at least until it starts getting dark. <laughs> and uh, I set my goal right now to get right there by the Indiana-Ohio state line. Like we are right now in, in Ohio already. Speed limit but uh, I have set my goal to be there at the Petro there at the state line of Ohio and Indiana. And that is in another 124 miles. Well, that should uh, should take us exactly two hours to get there so we should roll in there by uh, 6 30 our time that's uh, not too late yet so uh, that should be fairly early should be able to get a parking spot at that time of the day and that means at uh, 4 30 tomorrow morning we can do our pre-trip quarter to five we can leave actually so you know what I figured that's pretty good time and uh, that leaves us with 1160 miles roughly which isn't too bad either so we'll see where that will bring us tomorrow night but, but yeah that is the plan as of right now that that's what we're going to do and we are coming into the Dayton Ohio area right now so we're gonna have a few traffic lights right up in a little in a little bit. You know, all of a sudden got the hiccups here now. I don't know why. But yeah. So we are now in the Dayton, Ohio area. So we'll be on I-70 here in a little bit. And then we'll be on the interstate again, right over on US 35 as you can see. Mile. Yep. To the left on US 35 West Cape. All right, RJ, you tell them like it is, right? You never lie, do you? <laughs> I don't think so. For the most part, that's correct, right? But uh, anyways, we're at least out of the big hills now, pretty much. Uh, we'll be more on flat grounds again, so our fuel mileage should start to improve a little bit. Yeah, that West Virginia and Virginia area, that's terrible for fuel mileage, but 
That's the way it is. Nothing I can do about it. Gotta get through it, and that's all we can say. All we can do. There's a little bit of a river up there, not a very deep Check one, it looks line. like. Keep to the left on US 35 West Gate. Alright RJ, we will go ahead and do that. Alright guys, we have had us another fantastic night of sleeping. Now it's early in the morning. Yeah, we made it over here to this uh, petrol last night as we had planned and as I told you uh, that we were planning on doing. Yeah, now we only have like 1160 miles to do and then we'll be in Winnipeg. So that is fantastic news. I'm very very happy about that so uh, yeah anyways I uh, just figured I'd close off my show here appreciate you guys watching my today's vlog and uh, we kept our fingers crossed and we haven't had a single issue today <laughs> seems like sometimes it's an ongoing thing right but uh, hey you know we get good days out of the truck we do we really do <laughs> We do have weeks even where we have no problem. Remember last trip we had absolutely not a single issue on the truck. So yeah, but anyways, we'll get a new day started here tomorrow. So uh, don't go nowhere. Be sure to check in tomorrow again and leave us some comments down there below. That would be awesome. And we will be back tomorrow. So appreciate you guys watching and we'll see you on the next one. This has been Trucker Rudy signing out. It's time to get going. It's time to move on. Put this behind me.